So yeah, it's been a while since I've played this. Um, main reason why is because I kind of kept debating on whether or not I wanted to edit the Mothership Zeta thing. I ended up not editing it. Because to be quite honest, it's pretty boring. Um, yeah. So that's what happened to that. I'll probably um, think of something for that. But um, I did that DLC and I got a bunch of this garbage. And a bunch of this garbage. I got this, which... I'm actually going to fix up right now. Um, yeah, there you go. And I think... That was it for that. I also did the, um, I, I total. I also totally, totally definitely did the, um, Nuka-Cola Quantum quest off screen and didn't murder Petrovida and take, and get the Nuka-Cola schematics through console commands. No, that didn't happen. What is a man to do when the game bugs out and decides not to actually let you finish the quest? You know? But yeah, so I'm back in the wasteland, and, um... What do I want to do? I don't really want to start another DLC so soon, to be quite honest. As fun as the pit can be... Or, um, Point Lookout can be. I think I'm not going to do those. Actually, I think I'll just do this. Wait, what's my karma at? How many caps do I got? 2,935. Damn. Um. No, wait, it's fine. Sharon's still alive. I might as well get the main quest set, like main quest line out of the way and work from there. Actually, what is how much how much crap am I holding right now? Quite a bit. I'm gonna go dump some of this actually back at Megaton. Heading into Murder Pass. There will be a lot of murder going on, just not just, uh, you know, it will be involving me, but, Watch it. hey. What the hell is RJ thinking, letting a damn mongo like you in here? So who are you working with? Raiders? Slavers? Mutants? Answer up, mongo! All the above. Anyways. Oh, you think Sammy and the rest wouldn't have gotten back on their own eventually? I taught him better than that. Well, if you're sticking around, you ought to know that I'm Princess, and I call the shots around here. And don't forget it, Mungo. We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask the mayor if you really want to know. It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. Uh-huh. <laughs> could have been a lot of reasons. Maybe you sounded like a monster in all that darkness. Maybe you had a weapon drawn and looked like a raider. Maybe I just decided I didn't like your stupid Mungo face. I think I have to talk to the one... I think I have to talk to McCready. Which is, you know, great when he's not marked. It's... Where could he be? What time is it? Well, he's not here. So, where could he have gone? Excuse me. 
not here. Where could McCready have gone? Hey. Whoa, are we letting Mungo's in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And not if you're yet. not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So who are you? And how'd you get let in? Well, that was you? Nice work. I hope one of you grabbed some of their gear before you left. Gotta make them pay for something like that. Speaking of which, I'm Nick Nag, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Yeah, what do you got to trade? I hope you brought me some cool stuff. So he's gotta be in the great chamber, I guess. Oh hey, excuse me, hey. Seriously, where did McCready end up? Hey, little shit. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. I need to get into Vault 87. Can you please open the fucking door? It's not safe, even for someone as brave as you. There's monsters back there. I'm sure they're not that tough. This is a Bethesda game. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. The only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. Uh-huh. I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. Although I did just remember that Super Mutant Overlords can spawn right now. So that's fun. Hey, pardon me. Watch it. Alright, bye, Lamplighters. I might never be back. Yeah, so Paulson's revolver might be a little bit overpowered, because again, it is a revolver shotgun. I think each shot does like a ludicrous amount of damage, but I'm not too sure. This thing is also pretty good, if it actually hits. And then this thing, this thing's fine. It's got a really nice little fire rate. Uh, does... Does some damage, but... The damage on this is a lot higher, probably because it's going by DPS and not actually, like, damage. Damage. I don't know, I haven't quite figured that one out.
fucking jibbed and I fucking disintegrated that guy. That was good. I was kind of scared that Super Mutant Overlords would show up. It's a good thing I have a million stem packs or else this would, you know, they'd actually be like a problem. Although any of the ones with tri-beam laser rifles will 100% be a problem. So. Because, um... There's some kind of funny things with the tri-beam laser rifle in this game. I'll explain it when it shows up. to Vault 87. Isn't it lovely? should like get more ammo for this thing this revolver is dumb and you know I am really really glad they didn't stick a scope on this thing hi supposed to go this way I know it's up it's it's this way yeah This is the overseer's room, huh? I think, yeah. I've never been in here. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Oh, okay. Data logs on the terminal, I guess. is actually kind of good against these and I think it's just because they're bigger targets. So it just has a higher chance to hit. Interesting. on the grenades also that that boss music type thing there must be a, an overlord right behind him that's fun oh 
know, maybe it's not. Huh, why play the tense music then? Weird. Now try it! Yeah, weird. Usually that music only kicks in for, like, high-level enemies. buddy. No, you see, I think I'm the one going mad because I heard you talking over yourself. But yes, I'm human. Difficulty getting it. The chamber in which the get resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely to survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta human. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the get safely in your hands. Should I just do it? Should I just do the thing? Alright. Uh, how do I get you out? At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? Yeah, sure. Glad to see you are a sensible person. Now, I wouldn't um, call myself. I wouldn't call me sensible right about now. Uh, I'm gonna go. It's my hope that we will speak again soon. How much right away do I have? Um, maybe enough. Maybe enough. That might be enough right away. So that is... I'm going to save here, though, just in case.
Right, I should let him out first. Or No, I'm going to clear the way here, and then I'm going to go let him out, and then I'm going to run back over here before he gets a chance to uh, snag it. That's what I'll do. This gift. You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. Yeah, how about this? First one there has to get the gek. You know, unless uh, that's not possible. But I think with 27 Radaway, it should be possible. Like I said, I think with the amount of Radaway I have, this should be possible, but I could be wrong. Wow, this is not as radioactive as I remember it being. Holy shit. Pick up the Gek. Actually, this gives me an opportunity to show something here. Apparently, it's not radioactive here. That's interesting. Yeah, check this out. You can activate the Gek. You want to see what happens? Are you sure you want to activate the Gek? Yes. <laughs> Are you certain? Yes. It's good, isn't it? Where's Fox? Oh, there he is. Deciding to retrieve the device yourself was foolish when I was at your disposal, but uh, so be it. Well, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the wasteland. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Secure. 
yours, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. <laughs> 